It's the champagne of fabrics. It has to be hand woven in the Outer Hebrides by islanders at their own home. It has to be woven using yarn that's been dyed and spun in the Outer Hebrides as well. Everybody that's grown up here has had a connection with Harris Tweed. When I went to school at five years old, I had no English at all. I sp spoke in Gaelic. You learned English at school, you know, but I think my English has come on quite a bit since then, really. The Isle of Lewis and the Isle of Harris are actually the one island separated by a small mountain range. To us, it's all the one island. When it was trademarked, it was decided to trademark it as Harris Tweed rather than Lewis Tweed. And that's the name it's been known as ever since. We receive just raw wool. Uh, we dye this wool 50 different colours and we keep a stock of all these colours. That's then passed through to our blenders who mix these dyed colours of wool together according to the designer's recipe instructions. Every yarn colour we have is a blend of at least two colours, sometimes up to eight. From there it's passed through to our carding department that's the mechanical mixing of the wool colours. Rollers covered in thousands of pins, tearing it apart, blending it together, giving it its first mix. The next stage is to put a twist into this wool to give us usable yarn. Once it's twisted into yarn, it's passed through to our warp brush. The warp is the lengthways thread in a piece of cloth. The weavers put in the side-to-side -side thread, the weft, using their looms. Part of our job is to make sure the warp threads are correctly organised according to the designer's patterns. So the yarn is wound onto beams in the correct order and then sent to the weavers with enough yarn for them to do their part, is the weft side to side. Right, what I'm doing here is, this is your warp, the long threads, and in between the warp, in this shed, goes your shuttle carrying the weft and it's the interlacing of the warp and the weft that forms your cloth which you have here that's your Harris tweed. There's three mills based on the island there's weavers in Harris there's weavers based all around Lewis just over a hundred of them. About 40 years ago it was the mainstay of the economy just about every house in the village had a loom like this but nowadays uh, there's maybe about a dozen weavers in, in the village here where they used to be you know, 60 or so. There's probably about 200 all together involved in the industry as a whole. To some people that may not sound like a lot, but to an island like this, it's a huge industry for us. And it's something that everybody's very proud of. It's something that's world famous. It doesn't matter where you go, if you mention Harris Tweed, you can say, yeah, that's where I come from. That's, that's my island. We make that. This colour is called heather purple. The Harris Tweed industry, when they're making up colours like that, they do tend to copy natural colours that are in the environment, really. It tends to reflect the area from which the tweed comes from, you know, with these various colours, really, with the greens and the browns and the purples and the blues. Every single metre of cloth that's called Harris Tweed has to be inspected by someone from the Harris Tweed Authority. Okay, this is us now putting a, a small stamp on the back of the of the tweed, and uh, we put three of these in between two large stamps at both ends. We in, in the Outer Hebrides are very very proud of of, of the product, you know, because it's a it's a it's a nice product and uh, it's a quality product. It's even a, uh, could call it a luxury product now. It takes time to weave it, and there's a lot of individual work that goes into each tweed, really. We have sampled and sent pieces to Yves Saint Laurent, Chanel, Céline, another French one. There's just so many people now showing an interest in it. And you see the names passing through for the pattern requests. And you think, is that really Converse Trainers? It is! You know, and I think, yes, all these new people showing an interest in it. It's fantastic. It's really good. I didn't think I had an accent, but uh, people seem to think I have an accent. So what can I do? <laughs> what can I say?